This is Ashdown. She's a lovely boat, 59 feet long, semi-traditional stern, and she was built in 2005 by MCC, Midland Canal Centre. Her vendors have been living on her since 2012, so credentials of liverboard are well tried and tested, and she's been so well looked after. She's actually been in the basin here for the last few years. Current owners are on a plane back to New Zealand, so we wish them safe travels and see if she sells before they land. She was uh, fully repainted by Stowhill Workshop in July 2022, so the paintwork's in superb condition. She was blacked at the same time, July 22. She had eight new anodes put on her in March 21, and the engine was serviced in February this year, 2023. There is a survey that we've got, that was done in 2012, so it's, uh, but it is in the office for viewing if anybody wanted to see it. 440 watts of solar power on the roof. There's an MPPT controller for that. The gas lockers are in the, the gas bottles rather, in the forward locker, 213 kilos. Nice well deck, four feet long. Lockers either side. There's a light in the side of that locker on the starboard side, actually. It's quite handy for when you're getting on board in the dark. There's the Commodore. Storage under these lockers. The water tank's integral, 682 litres. This table folds down. Quite a nice place for dining out. <clears throat> Glazed cratch board, so it's nice and light. There's a cratch cover. That was um, the cratch cover in very good, good condition. Stable doors, they're glazed. And then we go. Lovely feel to the boat. She's fitted out an ash-faced ply with ash trim. The floor is solid oak throughout. Head height on the boat is six foot six. That's quite generous. And all the lights are LED apart from the bedroom. A couple of super comfy chairs in here. The saloon itself is nine feet long. The solid fuel stove. That's an Arrow Beckton Bunny solid fuel stove. Storage under the steps. Currently used for kindling. There's a stereo there and a wall-mounted television. It's a 24-inch Kogan. There is external Wi-Fi on the boat. The television's 12 volt. The storage cupboards. Lovely dinette area. This does turn into a spare double berth. Storage underneath. The dinette area is six foot four inches long. <laughs> Get off the sofa, Bumble. And there's the view down through the two rooms. There's another table there. It's a single demountable table in case you don't want the longer table up. Radiator there, the central heating is a Makuni MX40 diesel fired central heating system. Four radiators and a heated towel rail on board. It was reconditioned in December, just gone. The galley itself is eight feet long. Full burner gas hob oven and grill. That's a spin flow caprice. There's a Logic Microwave as well, stainless steel sink, cupboard underneath, and a 12 volt LEC fridge with an ice box. The boat's been left super clean actually, must credit the owners for that. On the starboard side, lots of storage. The worktops by the way are um, marble effect laminate, got some of those pull out shelves in there. Plenty of storage. Everything you could need really. There's a Houdini hatch over, so that adds light and air when you open it. Side another side hatch here, there was one in the saloon. And down towards the bathroom. The loo itself is a Tecma pump out with a porcelain seat. 182 litre holding tank. There's a warning light for the pump out tank as well. Ceramic sink set over little storage cupboard. So there's a heated towel rail I mentioned. And in between the shower and the cabin side some useful linen shelves. And there's the shower cubicle itself. Glass bifold doors. On into the bedroom. Bedroom itself 12 feet 8 inches long. Good sized room this. It's a cross bed. Cupboard's over. 
The bed itself measures six foot two inches long and four and a half feet wide. Little locker by the side of the bed. And in here, very good size wardrobe. Nice radiator at the end of the bed there. Drawers underneath. There's the Commodore. And at the other end of the bed, end of the bedroom, <coughs> another little locker down there. And another wardrobe here with a washing machine in it. That's a Candy Aquamatic. That does run off the inverter. There's the microwave I mentioned. And in here is the inverter. It's a Victron Phoenix Multi Plus Inverter Charger, 2.5 kilowatt. It's snowing, by the way, you may have gathered. Not had much in the way of snow this year, but it's a fair bit landing over the country in the next couple of days. Storage in the lockers either side of the semi traditional stern deck here. <coughs> Lovely outdoor space. And then here's the engine, it's a Barrashire 45, I think I mentioned service this year in February. It's a PRM 150 gearbox, a hot water tank's top right hand corner there, water's heated by the Makuni, the engine, or there is an immersion heater as well when you're in, on landline. And back through the boat we go. Got five domestic batteries, 110 amp hours, one starter. Popular length, this boat, 59 feet, semi traditional stern deck, very popular. And she's been so well looked after. She's got an anchor, chain, and all the necessary navigation equipment to just move on and turn the key and go to be honest really lovely boat we shall miss the current owners and welcome the new ones don't think it'll be very long till we meet those so there we go Ashdown for further photographs fully downloadable colour brochure and the price go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk